The first way to fix this issue is by updating the graphics card drivers and I am including links to those drivers in the video description. What's nice about the links I'm showing you is the fact that they come from the manufacturer and they provide you tools that will scan your system and then automatically find the right driver for your graphics card. So go ahead and download these tools and then try to update your graphics card. Alternatively, you can also try to update that uh, via Windows Update as well, but that doesn't always work. So go ahead and go to the manufacturer's website from the video description and update your graphics card. After successfully updating your drivers, go ahead and restart your PC and check the device manager to see if your graphics card now appears. The second way to fix this is by turning on discrete graphics via UEFI or BIOS. Now the way to boot to UEFI or BIOS varies depending on the manufacturer you are using. For example, if you are using an Acer, Dell, HP, the keys that you press to access the BIOS at the beginning may differ. So there you go. This is a list that shows you the common keys to press to get to the BIOS depending on the manufacturer your computer came from. Now once you are in the UEFI, uh, most likely UEFI because BIOS is quickly being phased out, you may have the option to enable or disable discrete graphics. Now in some cases you have the option to enable or disable onboard graphics as well so you have much more flexibility with this. So after doing that, go ahead and restart your PC and check to see if the graphics card now appears in the device manager. And that's it. By doing all of this, most likely by now you'll be able to see the graphics card from the device manager. For more videos like this that are simple and straight to the point, please subscribe and thanks for watching.